The bullet mold is the fastest, easiest, and most cost-effective way to install any type of water line, electrical conduit, data, gas, or poly pipe from 3 quarter inches up to 2 inches in diameter. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the bullet mold sidewalk kit to install pipe under a sidewalk. The standard sidewalk kit includes a 64 inch quick shaft, a 1 inch compression point, which makes a 1 and 3 quarter inch hole for up to 1 inch pipe, an impact cap, a thick washer, and a carrying case. Larger sized compression points are available and can be used to install bigger diameter pipes. The bullet mold tackles the most challenging unseen debris that are often encountered under pavement, such as large rocks, tree roots, asphalt, gravel, and other buried debris. Preparation. Determine the depth the pipe needs to be inserted under the pavement and dig your trenches to that depth. The section of trench where you will use the bullet mole is called the entrance trench. To use the bullet mole and sled guide, you will need to add an additional 2 inches to the depth of your entrance trench. An overall length of 8 feet and the width of a shovel, about 10 inches, are usually adequate for the entrance trench. In the location this video was filmed, notice that there were substantial roots in the ground. This is not a problem for the bullet mole. It easily pierces and penetrates the most difficult obstacles found under sidewalks, driveways, and other pavement. Step 1. Choose the location where you want the point to emerge in the exit pit, which we will call point A. Drive a stake in at this location. Step 2. Choose a location where you want the tool to enter. This is the penetration point and is labeled in the diagram as point B. Step 3. Tie a string to point A and, lining it up with point B, stretch it at least 8 feet past point B to determine the location for the second stake, which we will call point C. Drive a stake into that location and stretch and tie the string to it. The string now connects point A and point C. Adjust the height of the string so that it skims the surface of the sidewalk and therefore projects the pitch of the concrete over the entrance trench. Step 4. Using the string as a reference point, check the depth of the entrance trench and add or remove dirt as necessary to get the appropriate trench depth. Using the bullet mole. There are basically three methods of installing pipe or conduit with the sidewalk kit. The first method we will call the standard installation. With this method, the hole is first made with the bullet mole. Then after the tool is extracted, the pipe is inserted into the hole. With the second method, you have the option of using the bullet mole to install a one inch Schedule 40 pipe at the same time that you make the hole. We call this a pipe on shaft installation. It's a great option for heavily rooted or all gravel conditions under the sidewalk, or if you are going to connect the rest of the pipe at a later time. The third method allows the user to pull coiled or rolled pipe or conduit into the hole at the same time as the shaft is being extracted. We will call this the rolled pipe installation. Step 5. Remove the cap from the case. The tool is completely pre-assembled in the case with the washer already on the shaft. Simply tilt the case and the shaft downward and the tool will slide out. Step 6. If you are doing a pipe on shaft installation, remove the compression point from the shaft, measure and cut a piece of 1 inch PVC pipe to 57 and a half inches, and slide the pipe onto the shaft. The pipe should be resting on the washer, which seats against the enlarged end of the shaft. If the washer is not there for support, the pipe will crack as it is driven through the ground. Next, put the point back on the shaft. For the standard installation process, remove the compression point and the washer and replace the compression point onto the shaft. Step 7. Place the sled guide into the trench approximately 3 feet from the entrance point and place the bullet mole assembly onto the sled guide. The sled guide will support and direct the shaft. Step 8. Slide the bullet mole tool into position and press the compression point into the soil at the penetration point. You are now ready to drive the bullet mole under the sidewalk by striking the impact cap with a sledgehammer. A 12-pound sledgehammer is adequate, but we recommend using a 16-pound sledgehammer. The sled guide will advance automatically as the tool is driven forward. 
As the compression point comes in contact with rocks or buried debris, the sharp, hard point will embed itself into the rock until subsequent impact forces fracture the rock and move it out of the way as the tool advances under the pavement. Step 9. Once the sled guide cannot advance any further, simply remove the impact cap and pull the sled guide out of the way. Replace the impact cap and continue driving the shaft the rest of the way until the cap reaches the entrance point. Step 10. When the compression point emerges in the exit pit, simply unscrew it by hand. No wrenches are necessary. Step 11 is for installing rolled pipe or conduit and for pulling wire or cable, which we refer to as a rolled pipe installation. Step 11. The bullet mole is capable of installing any type of rolled pipe or conduit, such as the poly pipe used for gas, water, irrigation, data, etc. To do this, you will need an accessory called a tapered pull connector. Thread the male end of the tapered pull connector onto the end of the pipe, like screwing in a bolt. Lower the conduit with the attached pull connector into the exit pit and connect the female end to the shaft in place of the compression point removed earlier. Once the pipe is secured to the shaft, pull the shaft out. This process simultaneously extracts the shaft and installs the poly pipe. After the pull connector emerges in the entrance trench, remove the pull connector and continue installing your pipe. Note that with the D-ring pull connector, installing wire or cable under a sidewalk is a breeze. Step 12. Pull the shaft back through to the entrance trench and install the pipe. For a pipe on shaft installation, hold the pipe in place and pull the shaft out. At this point in a standard installation, two accessories may be helpful, a push point and a push cap. If you have them, attach the push point to the PVC pipe by threading it onto the end of the pipe. The threaded portion of the push point will cut its own threads on the inside of the PVC pipe. Next, insert the pipe and feed it through by hand to the other side of the sidewalk. If a pocket of gravel or roots is encountered, additional force may be needed to drive the pipe past the obstruction. If this is the case, using a push cap can be helpful. We have three sizes of push caps that fit five sizes of pipe. The one inch push cap can be used with either one inch or three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. The one and a quarter inch push cap is used on one and a quarter inch PVC, and the two inch push cap works on both two inch and inch and a half PVC. Remove the push point and push cap and you are ready to connect the pipe. Remember to clean the tool and store it inside the case.